Yo, what is going on guys? Hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you guys are out here vibing, making the most out of your time. Hope you're safe. Hope you washed your hands before you sat down and pulled this video up. You dirty little- Today we're going to go out and take some absolute <laughs> banger- <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> we're going to go out and take some absolute bangers. But wait, there's a catch. There's always a catch. I don't know what that was. Anyway, <laughs> rather than taking these photos on my camera, today I'm going to be taking them on my iPhone. I feel like a lot of people are misled when it comes to starting photography. It seems as if more people are concerned about spending thousands and thousands of dollars on camera gear, which most of it they don't even know how to use, rather than utilizing what they already have. iPhones. Or phones in general. And that's what this video is all about. I'm going to be showcasing that you do not need the best gear, the best camera, the best anything to take amazing photos. Let me start by saying, this is an iPhone 7 Plus. I bought this two years ago. Used. For like 500 bucks. Okay? What's what's out now? The iPhone 11? Yeah. No. This thing is, for lack of better terms, it, it's kind of butt. <laughs> but it is still capable of taking photos and that is what is important. So we are going to go out and take these photos on my phone. But before we do that, I need to clean my bedroom because there is about a lot of these lying around my floor because I drink a gallon of water a day and it's, I look like I, I have a drinking problem and, and I'm sorry. So that's the plan. Let's get this room clean and then let's get out of here. Four, just in this corner. Oh, no, five, actually, never mind. Before I film, I always push what's ever in this corner to this corner. So let's, uh, let's fix that. <laughs> All right, I think that just about does it. It doesn't look too bad in here. This is such a YouTuber thing to do. <laughs> don't mind the ghetto light. All right, that's how I do the, don't don't worry about it. I didn't deep clean. Uh, I truthfully only cleaned because I needed the content for this video, but now we're good to go. So let's get out of here. <sighs> okay, so we made it downtown. Problem is the lighting is still very harsh. However, I think I can work with that. I'm looking at something right now and I really like the way that the shadows hit this building. The sun's about to set anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. But let's go ahead and grab this shot right here. All right, one quick tip I wanna give you guys, which you just saw me do. If the shot looks decent, but you think it's missing something, shoot through something. You saw me shoot through that tree, and if you don't know that's what I was doing, I was shooting through the branches when I got close to the tree, but that always kind of spices up the image a little bit, gives it a little something extra. So I don't know how that's gonna turn out. We'll see what happens when I get it into editing. And by the way, I'm editing all of these on my phone in the Lightroom app as well. So I'm not gonna put them on the computer or anything. So it's gonna be pretty bare bones, my phone. So I'm gonna, it's, very, it's exciting to challenge myself. So we'll see how this goes, but let's go ahead and get the rest of this going. All right, we are done on the street. I think I wanted to take my car on top of this parking garage down here and grab a sunset photo, and I think that's how we're gonna end this thing off. So that's what I'm gonna go do. Let's get it, guys. All right, y'all, so I'm about to do something real sketchy. <clears throat> wow, that voice crack was crazy. <laughs> I'm about to do something real sketchy. Um, I don't have an adapter to put my phone on the tripod, so I'm gonna put my phone in between the microphone and the lens and pray to God it doesn't fall to get this shot because I, I just, I know I want this shot so bad. So 
we're just gonna try it and hope for the best. I can't promise it's gonna happen, but this will probably be, if I can get it, this will be the best shot from tonight. Uh, okay, I, I'm running out of time. The sun's going down. We gotta do this now. Okay, um, I, I guess we're just gonna have to figure this out. My goal is to stand on top of the car and do something. Um, I'm not much of a model, but I like to think that I, actually, I don't know what I like to think. I, <laughs> so I'm gonna stand on top of the car. Um, I need to stop talking. Like I said, this, I, I just need to go. That's annoying. Um, okay, I think I only have 10 seconds on the self timer on my phone, so this is gonna be annoying. Um, I'm not even supposed to be running because I had ankle surgery and I've not been cleared to run yet, but I might have to break some rules. Sorry, mom. Here we go, 10 seconds. I don't know, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of that happening before I actually get the shot, let's see. Okay, so we're on the right track. I need to move the camera closer and I need... Okay. Okay, I think I'm gonna stand um, further on this side of the car. So I, you can see the clock tower, the old uh, city hall building uh, in the background. I don't normally like it when there's two subjects fighting uh, for the attention in the image, but I think that the clock tower will complement this very well. So, okay. <laughs> As soon as my mom sees me in this video, she's going to lose her mind. I'm gonna get us turn talking too for this. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna try sitting down on the car. Um, I don't know, it might be something a little different. Um, I'm not sure if I'm too keen on the ones that are standing. You can't tell me that wasn't smooth though. Oh, please, Lord. You know what? Um, it's not bad. I'm gonna try to get a few more, but I think that's it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I think that's it. Okay, so you guys have seen a few photos. I'm gonna show you a few more. But first and foremost, I wanna say that I'm pretty impressed with the way that these turned out. To be completely honest, I was kind of undershooting my expectations when it came to shooting on my iPhone. But as I was out and got a little bit more familiar with it, it actually became really fun. But at the same time, it was still challenging. And I think that's because I'm so used to shooting on a DSLR when something got so simplified. I was so confused and didn't really know what to do for a second. For me, at least, it's more comfortable shooting on a real camera than it is my phone. And I don't know why that is. Maybe it's just because I haven't shot on my phone in quite some time now. But shooting on your phone can be very convenient because the image quality is really good and you have it on your person at all times. So you don't have to worry about lugging around a heavy DSLR. My hood is falling off my head. So yeah, all in all, it was a fun experience, but now let's get into the rest of the photos. All right, photo number one. And I took this one on the way up to the top of the parking garage. This honestly might be one of my most favorite photos that I had taken. I really like the foreground in this photo. The lines from the parking spots are really good leading lines to the subject, which of course is the skyline and the sunset, which of course are framed by not only the railing there on the bottom of the image, but also the ceiling at the top. And it's just a beautiful capture. Another thing I'm very impressed with with is how well the colors held up in Lightroom. I really got after these photos because my style is to really just kind of take away colors and boost some colors and my hood's falling again. <laughs> so I'm very well pleased and satisfied with how these photos held up with post-production and all the color tweaking and things like that. But this photo, like I said, it's one of my favorites that I took and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Okay, photo number two. Now this photo I obviously took at the top of the parking garage. The sunset last night was really beautiful and I was really able to use it to my advantage. As you can see, if you look at the building there on the left, the sun is reflecting beautifully off those windows and it really made for a nice image. And then of course the rooftop in front of me created for great depth in the photo and just really made this photo an all around good capture. Now if I was to do something different, I probably would have zoomed in a little bit more, try to get a little bit closer to the buildings and the subject itself. But other than that, I really like this capture and I think it's really good. All right, now the last photo, the photo that I spent about 30 minutes to an hour trying to get running back and forth from the camera to the top of my car, all that fun stuff. 
the final photo. Honestly, it turned out really good. And again, this is another great example of how well the photo held up in Lightroom on my phone. As you can see here in the before and after, the photo was pretty dark. So I had to brighten it up and the photo held up really well with all the post processing. Uh, but it turned out really well. The composition, it's okay. I think it could be a little bit better, but all around, I like this photo and I'm gonna throw all these up on my grid. If you don't already follow me, follow me at rimski.quinn. It's in the description. It's on the screen. You guys already know. But that is gonna do it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this inspires you guys to get out and shoot no matter what kind of gear you have, no matter what kind of camera you have. Hope that you go out and utilize whatever you have and continue to create. Drop a like on the video if you want to. Check out all the socials in the description. Subscribe, you guys know the drill. You know all the things that everybody bugs you about doing at the end of videos. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are safe. And as always guys, never stop creating. Take care.